Welcome to another Blender Buzz tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an advanced chair in Blender. And it's going to be um, pretty easy to do as we're going to be using quite a lot of um, tricks and um, modifiers to make sure we don't have to do a lot of repetitive modeling. So you're going to learn a lot of interesting things in this tutorial. And um, just keep in mind later on in the tutorial I do say we're going to go on to texturing and lighting but we don't end up doing that because I decided on the end that there's a lot of videos on UV unwrapping and texturing and um, not a whole lot always on really good modeling. So I'm just going to do the modeling in this, but still you're going to be able to learn a lot. So enjoy this, um, hit the like button below and um, share this. It'll really help me out. So let's get started. So with a new scene opened up in Blender, we're going to press A to select everything. And then we're going to go X and delete. And we're going to go make this cycles render right here. I guess we're going to be working inside the cycles render engine. And you can see I have my screencast keys enabled down here. So if you want to see what keys I'm pressing, um, you can look down here. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our top orthographic view. We're going to go add mesh and we're going to add a plane. Okay. With our plane created in the center here, we're going to go into edit mode. So tab into edit mode or go down here and enable edit mode. And we're going to go and subdivide this. So I'm going to go to my face option here, click on this. I'm going to go W and subdivide. And in our tool panels here, if you don't have your tool panel enabled, just press T and you'll go down here to the, the bottom and you're going to see subdivide and you're going to see number of cuts. So we're just going to increase this to four. Okay, so it's subdivided four times. Then we're going to select the middle face. We're going to enable our proportional editing. See, I've Able it down here. Then I'm going to go and grab this and just pull it up like so. Okay, on the Z. And you can see here it's automatically pulled the rest of the faces with it. And we now have this nice um, dome. Okay, it's pulled up. And then I'm going to disable the proportional editing. And I'm going to tab out of edit mode. So to duplicate this multiple times, I'm just going to add an array. So I'm going to go to my modifiers panel. I'm going to add array. And I'm going to make the count four and I'm going to enable merge. Then I'm going to add another array modifier. I'm going to make the count four again, and I'm going to make the X zero and I'm going to make the Y one and I'm going to enable merge as well. So we have four duplicated across the X and four duplicated across the Y. And now I'm simply going to go apply, apply. And we now have this one object here. Okay, So we're now going to create the buttons that connect the cushions here. So what we're going to do, go into edit mode and select these four over here. Okay, So you can see this is where these come together like this. And we're just going to make one and then we'll duplicate it across to the other surfaces. And that's going to make it easier for us. So what we're going to do with these faces selected is press I to um, bring it in like so. Then I'm going to go SZ0 to flatten it out and then X and delete faces. Then we're going to go to edge select, shift alt right click to select these um, fa um, edges and then go shift alt S and we're going to pull and that's just going to make it round. So it just rounds it out. Okay. And now we're going to model our button. So we're going to go EZ to extrude up and then ES to extrude out. And then E again, Z to extrude up and then E S to size in. And then we're going to go W merge and merge at center. Then we're going to go select this edge here, this loop and go control B to bevel. And we're going to create a bevel like that just to round our button out. And that is our button right there. So what we're going to do now, is make a space to duplicate this into. So what we're going to do is go to our vertex select mode and we're just going to select all of these vertices where these sections intersect. Okay, so it's going to be these guys here. And if you have a hard time finding them, just look from the side here and you can see where they all come together. So it's going to be these buttons here at the top and we're just going to go X and delete vertices and we now have these spaces for the rest of our buttons. So what I'm going to do is go into wireframe and B select these vertices here, enable face select and just make sure I have all of these faces selected. Okay. 
Then we're going to click on this little button here, and this is going to make it snap into these positions when we duplicate it. So just click this little button here. Okay, make sure you have this enabled. And then go Shift D, Control, and pull it across to the next um, opening. Shift D, Control, and do the rest as well. Just move from the next one to the next one. Shift D, Control, and you'll automatically see it snap in place and merge. Shift D, Control, Shift D, Control, Shift D, Control, Shift D, Control. Shift -D control. That is really easy. It really saves us a lot of time. And it's a very um, useful thing to use when you're modeling. So keep that in mind. So if we go to our vertex select now, and I grab these faces here, I can see they've automatically merged, okay, because of the this little tool we've enabled. But just to make sure I'm going to select all my vertices and just go to my tools, go to remove and just remove doubles. And we can see nothing was removed. It's all good. We don't have any doubles. And we can now go on to the next stage. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be um, hiding the buttons so we can add some more detail to our cushions. So what I'm going to do is go to my um, vertex select, select this vertice here, go control plus to grow the selection. Okay. And then go to face select and just make sure all the faces of the button are selected. Okay. And then we're going to go select um, select similar and, and we're going to go to area and we're going to see now it's selected all the other buttons as well. It's just another neat little trick to make things easier and we're going to go hide. So now all the buttons are hidden from our scene. We can go on to the next stage. We're going to go to edge select and we're going to add some details. So we're going to go and select all of these edges along here and go into wireframe to make it more visible. Just like so. And then across here as well. And these are going to be like little um, extrusions to to um, fake the, the feeling of um, fabric that is folded onto itself. It's just going to make things, uh, make it look a little bit more realistic. So with all of these edges selected, we're going to go control B again, just to create a bevel. And we're going to create a bevel about that size there. Okay, so we made our bevel. They're going to go E, Z, and extrude up. Just a little bit like so. And we now have these nice little ridges. So that's looking quite fantastic. So back into edit mode. Um, we can now go Alt, H, and unhide our buttons. And we're already quite far in this tutorial. So this is what we have so far. We have the top part of our cushion. And this is the highest detail part. And this was the most difficult part to model. So if you've made it this far, you're doing pretty good. So congratulations. So we're going to go um, on to the next stage, which is to give this some thickness. So maybe just enable smooth, go into edit mode again. And we're just going to go around shift, alt shift, and just select these edges like so. Okay, just select the edges of the cushion. If you have them selected, go E, Z, extrude down about like that. Okay, then we're going to go control R to add a loop in here and then left click and then double G to slide. I'm going to slide it up. <clears throat> then we're going to go to edge select and we're going to go shift alt and select this loop here. Okay, and then we're going to go E, S, shift Z and that's going to size it along the Y and X vertices. Okay, so just once again, that was... <clears throat> S shift Z to size along to scale along the X and the Z. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to do something similar down the bottom. So we're going to go control R down here, bring a loop down here and then go edge select, select this loop here. E S shift Z, bring it out like so. And we now have this nice little ridge down the bottom and we're going to go control R double G to slide it down. So that will be tight when we add the modifier. And yeah, it's looking quite nice. And what we can do is go to our vertex select and just go B box and select these bottom vertices and go S Z zero. 
and that has now <clears throat> made it flat at the bottom. Cool. Now I'm going to just go to my properties panel quickly by pressing N. And you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to enable my, um, whoop, just go into edit mode, object mode, and just enable um, under shading, enable matte cap. And this is going to make um, the visibility a little bit easier in here. So I'm going to go to my edge select, select this inner edge, okay, size it in a bit. And then we're going to go, whoops, down the bottom, go control F and go grid fill. And you can see now it has filled this in at the bottom. And if we go out into object mode now, we can see we have our cushion. And we can also enable a, um, give it a subdivision surface. And that is now nice and smoothed out. So that is looking quite good. Um, so this is pretty much our cushion done. <clears throat> and if we want to add some more detail, we can just go in here and just um, with your modifier, just enable this little um, thing here. So you can see the geometry better. And we're just going to go um, shift alt and just select these loops here and tighten them up. Okay, just these guys here. And if I am going a little bit fast, um, just pause the video and uh, just select all of these. So I'm just doing shift alt and I'm just selecting these guys. Just like this. Because I have all of them selected. Oops, this one here. And I'm just going to go in my properties panel, go to the top. And under uh, transform, we're just going to go to the bottom where it says mean crease. And we're just going to drag that all the way up. And all that's done now is tightened those, um, th these things up. And that's just going to give it a little bit more of a profile. And I'm just going to grab this one down the bottom here. And I'm also going to tighten that up. And that's it. Our cushion is done. So we can now go on to the next step. And that is to select our cushion here. And then we're going to go shift control alt C and go origin to geometry. So that's going to put our or our curse, um, our origin point right in the center of geometry. And we're going to go shift S cursor to center. And with our object selected, we're going to go shift S selection to cursor. So now our um, pillow is right in the middle here of our scene and our pivot point is right in the center. And we're done modeling. It's essentially done and we can go on to the next stage. Now, with this chair, we're going to need two cushions, but thankfully we can duplicate this later on and we don't have to go through all of that um, modeling again. So that's going to be the next bit. We're going to, we're going to build a frame. We're going to um, apply a lattice to this to deform it into the right shape. And we're also going to duplicate it and our chair will be pretty much done. So that's going to be the next bit. Now we're going to go add. We're going to go lattice and we're going to create a lattice right in the center of our um, geometry here. And we're going to go to the top orthographic view and we're going to go S to scale and we're going to size it up just a little bit larger than the cushion. We're going to go to the front orthographic view and then go S, Z and just um, scale it this way. And then with our lattice still selected, we're going to go to our lattice settings here and we're just going to make um, increase this by two, increase the V by two. And the W, we're just going to increase by one. So we now have these extra sections. Then we're going to select our pillow. We're going to go to our modifiers um, panel here. And we're going to add a new modifier. We're going to make it a lattice modifier. And then you can see here it's red because we haven't selected the lattice. So we're going to grab the little eyedropper here. And we're just going to click on the lattice. And now when we edit this lattice, that's going to be transferred onto our cushion here. So with our lattice selected, we're going to go into the right orthographic view. We're going to go into edit mode on our lattice and select these vertices here. Okay. Then we're going to go and enable our proportional editing. And then I'm going to go R and then bring it up like so. Then I'm going to grab these vertices here and just bring them down. Maybe grab these ones here and just turn them a bit. And that's all we're going to do to deform this, just to give it a little bit more of a uh, a curvature, maybe even go into edit mode again and just grab these ones here and just bring them up a bit, just like that. Just to give it a bit more of an organic um, feeling so you can see that somebody would sit in that um, comfortably. And then what we're going to do is we're going to instance this. So instead of going Shift D, we're going to go Alt D. So what we're going to do is um, 
select our cushion, holding and shift, select our ladders, and then we're gonna go Alt D, and then just move it up like so, and then just go R, rotate it, and bring it in here like so. And the reason we did Alt D and not Shift D is to, to um, instance this. That means if we should edit this pillow here, it'll be transferred onto this one. And it's just gonna make things easier so we don't have to do um, twice as much work every time. And this is a very good thing um, to get into a habit of doing when you're working on projects in any 3D software. You wanna learn to work um, efficiently. So these two pillows are essentially done now. And we could now grab these two lattices, okay? And just go M and move them to the second layer. <clears throat> so they're out of the way now. And we can now go and model the frame. So. I think the best way to do that is just to go to our front orthographic, make sure our cursor is in the center, and we can go add mesh, and we're gonna add a cube. Then we're gonna go into edit mode, and I'm just gonna move this cube here to the side, and I'm just gonna size it down and move it here. <clears throat> so once again, <clears throat> excuse me, to make things easier for us, um, we're gonna be mirroring this over to the other side, so we don't have to do twice as much work, so I'm gonna just create a mirror modifier and we can see it's now mirrored onto the other side. And what we're gonna do is just disable our proportional editing as well. Then I'm gonna go S, Z to make this a bit um, thinner on the Z. G to move it up. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. Just bring it up to there. And then I'm gonna go into vertex select. Select these vertices here. And then if I go con um, holding control and left click, I can create new segments as I click. So I'm in the right orthographic and I'm just creating new segments. Oops, just like that. This just makes it real easy. Then I'm gonna select these guys here. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Just control left click in the right orthographic view just to add new segments as I click. And if you make a mistake, you can always um, make it better later on. For now, just um, make sure we um, get the geometry in there. So I'm just clicking all along the top, just adding in this geometry all the way to the top. So you can see it's a little bit wonky here, so all I have to do is just select these loops and I can just uh, fix it up. And this is a very easy way of just making um, an object like this. It's, it's easier than extruding. So I'm just gonna bring this like that. And here we have um, a frame halfway done. So back into edit mode, um, we're gonna go and select, I think probably these guys here and um, maybe select these vertices. We'll just bring them back a little bit. And then we're gonna select these vertices here and then go control, left click. And we're gonna bring out um, a pole right about here. So just bring it out. Just keep clicking and about down to here. Just rotate it. So this is gonna be the leg and then we're gonna go C, just select these vertices here and then select these vertices and then go control and just create a leg at the back here. Okay, just like this and um, down. So it's just a rough for now. We can fix it up, make sure they're even later. Um, I'll just do that now. Just select these vertices here and then go S, Z, zero. And now it's level. And we have these two sides of our chair. So we're just gonna connect them now. So go into edit mode again. Um, just select these two faces here and go E, Z, um, E, X to extrude them along the X and make sure um, the clipping is enabled on the mirror modifier and just pull these two together and go X, delete faces. So now we have this and we can just add a subdivision um, modifier and it has these f um, this funny bending. So what we can do is just go into edit mode and just go control R and add loops in here just to tighten these up. Um, control R over here, select this loop just to bring it in. And to tighten that up a little bit more, we can go Control R over here, double G to slide, Control R, double G to slide. Same thing here, Control R, add a loop in here, Control R, add a loop in here. 
and then control R add a loop in here and then control R add a loop in here and then also at the front here just to tighten this up just like that control R and there we have it we have our chair pretty much done um, what we can also do is just enable smooth shading and there we have it so we now have our two cushions we have our pause and we have our two lattices on this layer so I'm just gonna go shift enable the lattice layer press A to select everything in the scene and I'm just gonna go G to move it up and make it level with the plane okay and we now pretty much have our chair done so the next thing